Oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to share with you my experience and my haul from Generation Beauty. I went this past weekend. It was held on May 30th and 31st at LA Live in Los Angeles and it was my first year in attendance and I had a spectacular time. It was so much fun and I really can't wait until next year to be able to go back. So first I'm going to go ahead and share with you my experience and then after I share with you my experience I will share with you my haul and the products that I received. So if you're interested in just watching the haul portion of the video, I will have the time linked for when it starts. It will be listed down below in the description box. So go ahead and look for that if you're interested. Okay, so the experience was pretty great. I went on Saturday. We got there at about, I would say, about 8 30 9 o'clock ish 9 30 between 8 30 and 9 30 is when we got there um and so you know what no actually we got there right at 9 because registration was starting at 9 so registration ran from 9 to 11 of course you could register later if you got there later but that was when it was kind of the registration time was and so we got there at nine o'clock and we waited for a little bit in the parking garage underneath the event deck where the um, event was held and so we waited for a few minutes and we went upstairs and the event was actually just held in a giant white tent on top of the parking garage um, and it's called the LA Live event deck and so it was up there and then when you get up there there were a bunch of like um, divider type things or um, bars to show you where to go and so we got in line for registration and we registered it was a super quick you just showed them your ticket they scanned the barcode and they gave you your lanyard which looks like this and it's just got a bunch of brands listed on it and then you got a name card in it as well as a map on one side and then the back has the booth listed and then it's not in here but we got these little punch card things and this is just pieces of it the ones that I didn't end up using and you got those and they were just like terrible and you handed those to the brands inside the event so we got all that stuff and it had a little um, pink sharpie with it so you could write on your lanyard and then we wore those we got those and we also got a little generation beauty tote bag and this is what that looks like so one side says generation beauty by ipsy and then the other side says just a bunch of inspiring words on it as you can see and i keep saying we and i mean i went with my husband so he got all this stuff too so i've got double of a lot of stuff so that's pretty neat so yeah, we registered and then um, we were given water bottles and they're pretty cool. I've got one somewhere. I'll show you in the in the actual haul what the water bottle looks like because it's actually like in a giant square carton. It's pretty neat. So we got those and then we went and we stood in line again to actually get into the event and we stood in line for about an hour and a half and then they opened the doors and we went in and it was amazing. So so amazing so the first thing that we saw when we walked in was just like this big tv and it listed like when the meetups and stuff were gonna be and then if you went to the right then you saw nyx right on the corner if you went to the left you saw sephora right in front of us was um tarte and then there was like Too faced and ardell and china glaze and uh soho london soho um laneige cella and then like all these other brands like just all around it and then right in the middle was like the main spot and that was the ipsy store and so i knew that i really wanted to go to too faced because they were giving out a full size bottle of their new foundation their born this way foundation and so we got in that line and this lady came up and she's like hey the line's too long do you guys mind coming back and so we're like yeah sure that's fine so we ended up going to like soho london soho um couple other places and then I was looking around and I saw the Nani Cream Color Prevails booth and I was super excited because the creator of Color Prevails, Nani Cream, she was there and she was setting up so I got to go over and talk to her and meet her and just kind of hear a little bit about her story and about how um, she started Color Prevails and that was super awesome to meet her and to net network with her. So we again we just like 
went around to a few more booths, the really short lines and stuff. Um, and then at 11.30, 11.45ish, Michelle Fawn was introduced by Marcelo, who is the CEO of Ipsy. So he came out and he introduced her and she kind of said a few words and then she actually did a Q&A and it was super awesome and just really inspiring and uplifting and I really enjoyed it. And then I was actually able to meet her and that was incredible. And she said that my eyeliner was on point and I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. This is probably my favorite part of Generation Beauty. And so I got to meet her and it was super cool. And then after that, we just went around to a bunch more um, little booths and stuff. We took a bunch of pictures, posted a lot on social media, all that kind of stuff. You can check my Instagram, Green Eyed Beauty 90, and you'll see a ton of pictures of me and my husband at booths, as well as me meeting some of my favorite YouTubers and gurus and vloggers and all that kind of stuff. So it was just a lot of fun. It was pretty hot in the event um, on Saturday. I heard that on Sunday that it was a lot cooler and that the air was much better in there. Um, but I didn't go on Sunday, so I'm not really sure. But it was just a really fun experience. And it's always so fun for me to go to beauty events, even if, you know, I mean, it's fun to get products and um, all this free stuff, you know, but it's so fun for me too to just like see everybody so interested in the same thing and to be able to meet other YouTubers and other people with the same, you know, like ideas as me and wanting to share our um, love for makeup and beauty with the YouTube community, with the online community. And so that was really fun. I got to meet like Holly Forrest and Kristen Dominique. I saw Hart and Arnold. I've met them before. Um, I saw Luster Lux. I didn't get to meet her, but I did see her. Um, Desi Perkins, saw her. Who else did I see? Judy was there, Judy and Benji. Um, I saw um, Desi's husband was there. And there was just like a bunch of other people, you know, and it was super cool and such a fun experience and I really enjoyed it and I am going to go back next year and I'm super excited for that. I am also going to be at BeautyCon Los Angeles this year. It is July 11th at The Reef in Los Angeles. It's the same spot that it was in last year, but check on BeautyCon dot com for more details super awesome super excited it will be my third year in attendance at BeautyCon, and i'm so excited about that i love these type of events um if you have any questions about the actual event and or any questions about my experience at generation beauty or BeautyCon, go ahead and leave those down below if you're interested in like a beauty con versus generation beauty and what the similarities or differences are go ahead and let me know that down below as well and i would love to make that video for you but for now let's go ahead and jump on into the haul okay so as i mentioned when we registered we got this little lanyard thing i'll actually just put it on right now and like towards the end of the event we actually went to the nyx booth and i voted for the nyx face awards and so i got this little button that just says i voted for the nyx face awards so that's pretty exciting and make sure you guys are voting by the way um i'm not in it this year but there are a lot of talented people so yeah go ahead and check that out um we got this bag like i mentioned at registration and then let's see it's kind of all scattered together so uh, i went to the bear republic natural sunscreen um, booth and they're actually out of their freebies but they did give me a hat for posting on social media a lot of this stuff was got from posting on social media and showing or liking their Facebook page or their Instagram page and stuff like that. I got this one from Bare Essentials. It's cute. It says, oh, I'm sorry, Bare Minerals. And it says, be original, be natural, be good. And it's just a little tote bag. The line for the Bare Essentials booth was insanely long. Like, it was like an hour and a half wait. I think the longest I waited in line was for It Cosmetics, and I think it was about 40 minutes tops, and I think that's even pushing it. At the LA Girl booth, they were only giving out this super metallic Ipsy Pink LA Girl cosmetics bag. And this was for liking their Facebook page. So I got that and I got two of all of that stuff except for the hat. Because like I said, my husband went too. So then jumping in to the actual products. This bag right here is packed with products. So... 
Um, we went to the proactive booth and it was super cool because you got to do two things you well three things actually there was like this little trailer there and you could go in and you could take pictures and it was so much fun I really like that and um, then you got to get in line and you got to push a button and it would like show up on a TV screen and it would just have like a blinking dot going around and when you push the button again like the it would stop blinking and it would say what prize you won and so I actually won this I won the mark correcting pads and the eye brightening serum and then my husband did it and the girls told him that he was like one of two people and this is like really close to the end of the event one of two people to actually win like their whole skincare starter set so clear skin begins here yeah 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 it's got a smooth skin exfoliator pore targeting treatment um complexion perfecting hydrator and then this says a bonus gift and it is a skin purifying mask so that's really cool that he won that and then um we actually had to come back to the proactive booth because they were doing a meetup there and so when we came back, they had a claw machine and you had to show uh, that you were following them on Twitter, I believe it was. And then you got to play the claw machine. And you guys, I love claw machines. Like, it's ridiculous how much I love claw machines. Um, and so we played it and I actually won something in the claw machine. I was like, what happens if I don't get something, you know? And she was just like, oh, well, then you get to choose something. But I actually won something and I got... The X Out Daily Body Scrub from the makers of Proactive. So it's still in the box that I want it in. So, um, like I said, I went to the London Soho booth and we got these little zebra print bags with this hot pink trim. And then we actually got it in Boston. It just says Gen Beauty 2015. So that's pretty neat. And I've actually kind of just shoved a bunch of stuff in here. So it's all gonna be absolutely crazy this this haul that I'm showing you so first I'll show you this I got from pixie um, it is pixie by Petra endless silky eye pen so it's just a black eyeliner I have if we are we went to bomb or be a bombshell and they were giving out their pout potions so I have two my husband got one and I got one so we got secret which is just kind of a nudie pink color I'll actually swatch it for you so this one is secret that's totally my color right I love that type of color it's beautiful and then we got famous which is a kind of purpley pink color super pretty and these seem like they're really opaque as well. So there are the swatches for that. We went to the City Color booth and we got to um, basically stick your hand and they called it water but it was just like styrofoam pieces and pull out a pearl which was just a ping pong ball with like colors on it. And so I won a City Color Be Matte Blush in Hibiscus and it's just this really dark kind of browny red color. It's really pretty. It I thought it was really similar to Benefit Dallas, but it's actually a lot darker than that. And then my husband won um, a City Color Lip Balm in Blush. And it's this super, super fuchsia color. And he won it and he's like, look, it's your color. And I was like, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. We went to China Glaze and we each got this nail polish in Home Sweet Home Music. It's just this neon orange. We went to It Cosmetics and literally they gave us like four of these. It's a lipstick in Blurred Lines and it's new lipstick. And it's just this really red color. And it swatches so creamy. Everything's pulling really orange right now, I'm sorry. But it's really red and it's super creamy. So that's super exciting. We went to the NYX booth. They were showing their new NYX liquid suede lip colors. And so you got to try one on and then you got to post on social media the picture. And they gave you the choice between this color and this color. I'm, I think the colors were different throughout the day, but we got there at the very end. 
So I chose this one, which is in soft spoken, and it's really just brown, guys. It's brown. So it looks really pretty on camera. In person, it's just brown. Um, and then we got a picture taken or something like that, and they gave us another lipstick, and it's orange. And these are like their liquid lipsticks. They're super nice. I actually really liked the color that I had on and I would have loved to have gotten that one, but it's all good. And then we did something else. I think we gave them our little ticket thing at that point and then they gave us this one and this is Stone Fox. The orange one is called Orange County, by the way. So it's just kind of a gray color. We went to Cargo Cosmetics and we got two different color eyeliners. I got the purple one, which is an eggplant, and these are from their Swimmables line, so they're waterproof. And then my husband got a shimmery blue one, which is just called blue, actually, but his has glitter in it. They're really not focusing. So we got those. Um, that's all I shoved in that bag. Uh, we went to the Jouer booth and we got lots of stuff. Oh my gosh, they gave us like three of these. And these are just their little matchboxes. It says Le Matchbox, your perfect makeup matchup. And it's got like a little perfume oil in it. It smells really florally. And then it's got a little lip gloss. And it's got a sample of anti-aging moisture primer and anti-blemish matte primer. It's got those samples. And then it's got just a little like cream lip color or cream um, cheek color and it's in petal and it's really pretty so that was one of the boxes two of them were exactly the same it had that pink um, lip gloss in it but then one of them had this one which is kind of like a gold one but other than that everything else was the same in it they also gave us these things which are Jouer Sparkle and Shine Holiday Party Favor and the girls at this booth were super nice and actually all of these um, little containers are different but they're really hard to get into so it's got a little um, one of these things like so it's got one of those in it in each of them and it's got a little tiny lip gloss um, this one has a chevron striped hairband. It has a little card thing that says beauty attracts the attention but personality captures the heart. And it's got this really pretty um, like bobby pin in it. So that's, that's nice. So that's one of those three boxes. This is the second one. Like some of them have necklaces in it and some of the colors are different and stuff. So again, another one of these noisemakers. Another mini um, lip gloss. This one has a ring in it and it's a heart. I don't think you can see that at all. And this one is a, it's a striped hairband. It's gold and white. There's two more things. This one says, happy girls are the prettiest. Love that quote, Audrey Hepburn. And then it's got a peace sign um, necklace in here. So that's in that one. These are such cool little um, boxes. These are just, like, they're so pretty, so cute. And then this one, the last one has, oh, it's a, silver noisemaker and the card says there's beauty in everything just not everybody sees it and then it has just a sparkly gold hairband um, a pinky lip gloss it's got a bow ring and it's got a heart necklace which is really pretty so that is what was in these Jouer boxes. I loved the girls at that booth. They were super nice and super helpful and super sweet. We stopped by Oscar Blondie and we got the Oscar Blondie Hair Lift Thickening and Strengthening Mousse as well as the Pronto Wet Instant Volumizing Shampoo and Instant Volumizing Conditioner. So we actually got two of these. 
of each of these. Oh, here's the water that we got. It's boxed water is better and it's pretty tasty. It's better cold though. Also at the Jouer booth, what they did was they gave us a little paper and we were supposed to choose two different color lipsticks. They were giving us two different color lipsticks each and then we were supposed to like put our lip prints on the paper and put it in a frame. So that was a cool idea. So everyone got this one color and this is Sarah and this was one everyone got and it's just this deep red color and it's super pretty. It's kind of more like a berry red than like a super um, red red. So that one is Sarah. And then we got to pick out two different colors. So I picked out um, one color and then my husband's like, which color do you want? And so he chose a different one. And so we have Kate. And Kate is this nude pink color. And you guys know how I feel about nude pinks. So there it is. And then the next one is um, Grace. And Grace is kind of a corally pink color. And here is Grace. Super pretty. And these are really creamy as well. So I'm really excited to have these and to play around with them. We stopped by the Ardell Lash Booth and we actually got um, two of these and these are the Demi Wispies. Love these lashes. We stopped by the Too Faced Booth and we actually ended up going back there because they said that it was too full. And so we got, or I got color matched and then they let my husband have um, the same one in my color. So I actually got two of these and these are in ivory. And I'm really excited. I'm going to film a first impression on this foundation. But this is what it looks like. It has not even launched yet. It's super pretty. It's like this frosted glass. It's got gold lettering. And it's got a pump on it. And I love Too Faced products. And I'm really excited about this. And so we got color matched. And then I got to go into their little confessional booth. And film like a first impression there. And that was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And I actually met like the social media manager we stopped by dermalogica and we got to meet with like a skin person that knows about skin and they kind of like prescribe like some skincare products for us and um my husband got two different ones than i did we both got this one which is the foaming wash and then they gave me the oliver toner and the matte moist no i'm sorry they gave me these two and then they gave him the foaming wash and the matte moisturizer so there's those and then we stopped by I don't know why I didn't show this with the It Cosmetics lipsticks but we got these It Cosmetics products and they actually gave me two different colors they gave me um fair and light and this is the CC cream and the bye bye under eye which I've heard great things about and so this is what the CC cream looks like it's a pretty good size really excited about that and I actually am the light shade I checked it the other day so there's that and then this is the bye bye under eye which i've heard tons of people talk about and that is what it looks like so i've got two of these they're the same they're natural medium or neutral medium and then the cc cream i have it in light and fair so i have those i got a ton of like papers and coupon codes and stuff so i'm just gonna like i'll show you the pictures i got i got this one from bare minerals um, that's me and my husband. I got this one from Dermalogica. Uh, this one was the one from the Proactive booth. Super fun. And then this one was from Voting for the Next Face Awards. And I love this one. And then there's like Laneige, Cella stuff. This was the punch cards that I was telling you about. So it just has like all the brands on it. And they either cross it out with a marker or we had to punch it out and actually hand it to them. Um, the Jouer Frames. That is what it looks like. Um, I have a sample from Laneige. We got three of these actually. They're the water sleeping masks. It's revitalizing mask with sleep scent for all skin. Uh, okay, some pixie info, some stuff for Ardell and China Glaze, cargo cosmetics via bombshell. Um, oh, this was the booth at Proactive. It's our DIY love and they are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and it's just this little booth and you get to go inside and you take pictures and it's really fun. So lots of fun stuff here. 
Um, the chart booth was like they had completely gone through all their samples so we didn't get anything from them but they were having a sale. I actually did not buy anything at all during Gen Beauty so that's pretty neat. Um, but these products totally made up for it. Got this bag from It Cosmetics and then we all, everyone got a goodie bag on Saturday and Sunday. Like I said, I didn't go Sunday, but I did get the Saturday bag, and my husband got the Saturday bag. So he actually got this in his, and this is the um, fairy sponge, three-piece sponge set. So it's just got, like, beauty sponges in it. And then I got the Enchanted Eyes three-piece blush, or I'm sorry, brush set, and it's Belle. And they're actually really soft brushes. So there's an angled brush a crease brush and a shadow brush in there and then this is what the goodie bag actually looked like so um, my husband's and mine were the same I think all the colors for everything was the same too so we all got this Laneige BB cushion and I've tried this before I got a sample of it from Ipsy a few months ago and I really like it it's really cool it's a cool product um, we got a brush from crown brush it's just like a powder blush brush we got a sample of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is some of my favorite mascara of life. We got a full-size Cargo Cosmetics Swimmable Eye Pencil in Pfeiffer Beach, which is just kind of like a brownie, kind of like a brownie plum color. It's really pretty. And these are really smooth. We got a uh, China Glaze Nail Polish in Point Me To The Party, which is just sparkly and glittery. Some more Ardell lashes in the Demi Wispy, so that's the same lashes. I've got to readjust myself down here so nothing falls. I don't want the nail polish to break. We got um, Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer. Just a little sample of it. I'm actually in the process of using one of these up right now. Uh, okay, we got a sample of the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes 5-in-1 Clinically Proven Mascara with Lash Ball Detailer. So there's that. That's what the brush looks like, I guess. Um, Tarte gave us a... What is this? A Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint. And this is in Amused. And it's kind of like... It looks super hot pink, but it's actually really sheer. It's right there. So that's what it looks like. And that's full size. Thanks, Tarte. Um, Sephora, a mini pin up pink shiny ultra brilliance ultra shine lip gloss. And I really like the wand on this. Like, how cool is that? It's like chubby and skinny and chubby. I think it's really neat. And it's just a pink lip gloss. It's the one right here. It's not very opaque or anything, but it's nice. Um, Achella. Ivory Lace Highlighter. I actually own like two of these and I love these. They're really good for like under the eye eyebrow highlighting. Oscar Blondie gave us a dry shampoo powder spray. Um, Galani Cosmetics gave us a lipstick and I forget what color this is but these were this no we got two different colors so this one is coral. This one is coral and it's just a coral color. And it's super pigmented. It's so pretty. That one right there. I wish you guys could see the real color of this. It's so gorgeous. So we have that one. And then I also got... And there was only one of these per bag. So he got one and I got one. And then this one is... Where did I read the name on it? Oh, it was on the bottom. And this one is mauve. And again, very pigmented. So I'm excited about those. I love lip products, you guys. It's so wrong on me. Um, and then the last thing that's in this bag, there's another separate bag in here, and I'll show you that too. This was from Bare Minerals, and it's the Nude Perfection. And I was actually going to get this at Sephora, but I withheld because I'm like, I have too many lipsticks anyways. But they gave it to us. It has three lipsticks in it. It has Be Free, Speak Your Mind, and Make Your Move. And these are just nudes. So this one is Be Free, which is the nudiest color. It is the most neutral shade. It's right there. And this one is Make Your Move, which is more of a brownie nude. Right there. And then the last one is my favorite, and it is Speak Your Mind. 
and it is more of a pinky nude. It really reminds me a lot of Cream Cup by MAC. It's a little darker, but it's still my color, guys. I have my color, and that is my color. That pinky nude color is my fave. It's kind of like what I'm wearing today. This one is by Wet n Wild, the one that I'm wearing today, and I don't remember the name of it, but I will list it down below. I also have it on my um, Instagram page, too. So there was that. And then the last thing, the last product was from NYX. NYX had their own little bag in their goodie bag. And you are allowed to get these goodie bags after 2 p.m. And so it's got like a little card in it, which I can never get out. But then it has um, a high voltage lipstick. And this one is in Wine and Dine. And we got the same color in it. And it's just a wine purpley red berry color and it is really pretty and really creamy so there you have it there is my haul from generation beauty and i only showed you like one of everything because literally i got like two of everything and it is insane so i'm excited to play around with these products if you went to generation beauty tell me what your favorite part of generation beauty was whether if it was like meeting michelle fawn or getting the goodie bag no shame in that or anything else, just go ahead and tell me if it was the whole experience, whatever. I would love to know. And tell me if you are going to BeautyCon Los Angeles this year. It's going to be so much fun. For those of you on the East Coast, um, Generation Beauty will be there in October, I believe. So check the Gen Beauty website for more info on that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will stop talking because it is forever long. And I love you. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video. Share the love. Spread the love. And yes, you guys are awesome. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said, shut up and dance with me.